to the face? Oh, it doesn't matter. Julie? Just ignore me. I've, um, I've just had a bad night. That's well, how come? You were on top of the world when I left you yesterday. I was, and then I got to thinking. Oh, here we go. Could I have answered that question better? And did we appear committed enough? Did I overdo the mumsy thing? Brian, have you told us she's an idiot? <sighs> Take the time. I want to get a move on her. See you later, Flower. Well, are we still having lunch? Of course. Bye. See you, love. Is Brian OK? How do you mean? Just seems a bit odd. What, you mean more than normal? Oh, he's just stressed. We both are. Oh, stop fretting. You and Brian are going to make perfect foster parents. Come in. <laughs> so, you sure you've got your maths homework? Yeah. All right, what do you fancy for your tea tonight, then? Don't know. Well, you can have sausage pasta or sausage and mash or toad in the hole. Got to use up the sausages. Not bothered. You can invite Grace if you like. Do you mean that? <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't I? Well, I thought you had a bit of a downer on her. No, don't be daft. Listen, I'm not being nosy or anything, but you two haven't had a falling out, have you? No. Because if there's anything that's worrying I you... I said no. OK, kiss a kiss. Mwah. See you later. Hey. Hi. Yeah, uh, it won't be a mo. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, how are you doing, then, today? Yeah, you know, so-so. Well, early days. Yeah. Uh, um, did you manage to speak to Nick and Leanne? Yeah, I, I had a chat to him, yeah. Mm. And? Well, I was just honest. I just said if anything like this happens again, then we're going to have problems. Mm. Must be difficult for you guys. Oh, I can't ever remember it being easy. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I know he misses living with Leanne, but mm. she's got a lot on the plate, you know, with Nick's recuperation and she's got the bistro. Yeah, you didn't say that to her, did you? What? Suggest that she can't cope? Are you joking? It's more than my life's worth. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite right, you know. Hiya. Hiya, mate. You all right? Right, well, um, we'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Be good. Uh, work, work hard. Learn some stuff. Hey, I wondered where you'd got to. <laughs> I thought I'd make a start in the accounts. Great. Sounds like a plan. Unless you want me behind the bar. Oh, no, you're all right. I mean, let's face it, you're the financial wizard round here, not me. Ego boost gratefully accepted. No, it's a fact. Just don't go pushing yourself too hard. Yes, nurse. I'm only saying... I'll pace myself. I won't let you down. I didn't cross my mind for one minute. But listen, we could do with another pair of hands around here, so I made this. You're the boss? Yeah, and don't you forget it. Coffee? Murder one. I'm being very quiet today. Come on. Must be counting down the days to your honeymoon. I don't suppose you and Carla have thought about who's going to look after the factory while you're away. Oh. Hello, Underworld. Hiya, hon. Yep. Yeah. It's Deirdre. Go on, I'll take it. Putting you through. Hey, what's up? Understand. I mean, last night in the Rovers, you were practically singing from the rooftop. Yeah, what happened to bring it on? Well, I just got to thinking, I suppose. See, that's your problem right there. You always overthink stuff. No danger of you doing that. I know I'm my own worst enemy, but what if I don't have what it takes? Julie, are you serious? You'll be wonderful. You're going to be such a loving mum. Let's face it, they don't come in in soft here. But it's so much to take on board. I mean, you're responsible for another person's well-being. So? Well, so it's scary. I mean, look at all that business with Craig. Sophie's accident. I mean, I'm not having a dig. I'm just... I'll be a nervous wreck in a week. Well, goes with the territory, I'm afraid, cop. Yeah, it's not often I'll say this, but Beth's right. Nothing worthwhile is ever seen. Yeah, and trust me, the good times definitely outweigh the bad. And you're going to enrich your child's life. It's my life that's going to be enriched. Well, now you're getting it. OK. No more worrying. Focus on the positives. Yes. And it wouldn't hurt to start decorating the spare bedroom either. Oh, no, I don't want to tempt fate. Oh, behave. It's a done deal. You and Brian are shooing. Mrs Connor, can you sign this, please? Oh, sorry, I can't get miles away. No problem. Stuff on your mind? Yeah, could say that. Well, you know, if you ever want to... 
Have a one on. What? Okay, okay. Hmm? Uh, talk? It's just... Beth reckons I'm a good listener. Oh, does she now? Yeah, well, with her gob, I would have thought that was a prerequisite. <clears throat> a pre... Forget it. I'm good. Appreciate the thought, though. Oh, that Kirk. It's the heart of gold, brains of a rocking horse. What's up? I just spoke to Deidre. She's not coming to the wedding. How come? Well, apparently, Dad's having a rough time and she needs to be with him, so. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, hey, look. Who needs family? We've got each other. Exactly. Eva, two coffees, please. Look at the wedding invites, can we? Vegetarian pâtés off the menu. Is this all the invoices? Yeah, I think so. Think or no? Well, I know so. Is it me or we're spending money like it's going out of fashion? Actually, I think you find this month's overheads are down. Well, why don't you take a break, eh? Rest your eyes. I don't need a break. I need to make sense of this lot. I'm in for a cheese and ham roll, not an argument. Well, I wasn't looking for one, but I'm very pleased to hear it. Do you want pickle? Please. Faye's mate, Grace, what is it exactly you don't like about her? Sorry? I just wondered. Well, I don't really think it's my place to say. Please, Sally. Mother to mother. You know, Faye's been acting really strange lately. I just wondered what you think. Well, I... there's not one thing in particular. It's just that I just... Well, I wouldn't trust her for certain. So you think she's bad news? I think you should have a conversation with Tim about this. Fair enough. Thank you. No problem. Why am I looking at an interior design magazine? Well, I've had some ideas about the spare room. I'm not certain I follow. But we ought to decorate it. For what reason? The child. The foster child we are likely to have staying in our home within the next few months. I'm thinking a green colour scheme. Something gender neutral, but that's still vibrant and exciting. Don't you think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves? There's nothing wrong with being prepared. Plus, it shows Trudy we mean business. Julie, we've not even heard from her. Yeah, and when we do, it'll be a big fat yes. You don't know that? I do. And I know, and everybody else knows, that we will make fantastic parents. This is our destiny, Brian. I feel it in my core. Are you winning? Do I look like I'm winning? Look, let me do that, Nick. Listen, I think you've had enough caffeine for one day. Just give the books a rest, yeah? Tell you what, you go and meet and greet in our wait tables. Meet and greet? Is that a joke? Business is bad enough without me scaring off customers. Come on, don't be I'm just getting in the way here. Well, where would you go? I don't know, shopping? Isn't that what kept spouses do? Sorry, sorry. Useless. You're not useless. Well, there's a stack of papers over there that say different. See you later. I think I should go after No, him. love. Give him a space. <laughs> What's the scores on the doors? OK. As of lunchtime today... Come on, get on with it. Yeah, take your shoes and socks off, Kirk, if it helps. Beth is now in the lead by five. I'm in the lead. Talk about awesome. Well, looks, Fizz, in your face. Don't look at me like that, Sally. I've worked all through me lunch. Kirky must have got it wrong. The totaliser is never wrong. Totaliser? My hat. Give it in. Are you saying my fella can't count? I'm not going to answer that. No offence. Sal, you're not being very dignified. She's going to be very punchified in a sec. All right, buddy, belt up. OK, I'll keep this short and sweet. I need somebody to mind the shop while I'm on my honeymoon, and that somebody is Sally. What? Yay! You put him in charge? For what of a better word, yeah. Oh. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I do. In your face, Tinker. All right, don't let it go to your head. Fat flaming chance of that. I'll discuss your duties nearer the time, shall I? Rest assured, Mrs Connor, I will not let you down. Mm, do right, you won't. Just to sweeten the deal, though, I have got an invite to my wedding. I suggest you are RSVP, yes. Same goes for you, Fizzy. Uh, what about the rest of us? Look at the jaw, sorry. Right, get on, people. This is a form of segregation or discrimination. I don't know which one which, but now I know how that Hugh Jackman fella felt in Les Miserables. Oh, oh, don't worry, we won't be missing much. Besides, you'll only get drunk and make a pass at the groom. True. Still, would have been nice to have had the option, though. Wow, this is so tasteful. 
It is a bit classy. This is just the invitation. Imagine what the wedding's going to be like. I've got goosebumps already. Oh, don't rub it in, Webster. I'd put a maze in front of that from now on, if I were you. Everything all right, Tina? Yeah, I'm just waiting for Simon. Seems to have done disappearing act. Oh, uh, have you spoken to anyone? Yeah, and Mrs. Fletcher. Yeah, she's standing in for Mr. Camp. Well, she's gone back in to look for him. I don't know what's taken us so long. I'm sure it's nothing to be concerned about. Oh, here she is. Simon isn't inside. What? I'm sorry, but I don't know where he is. Simon's gone. What do you mean he's gone? He's gone. You know, Tina went to pick him up from school. He isn't there. He's gone. Right, Mum, call the police. Yeah, let's not jump the gun, eh? He could have walked back with friends. No, no, he no wouldn't chance. do that without permission. Or well, maybe it's his grandma. Just call the police. Come on, let's get to number one. Simon's a very sensible lad. I searched all the classes. Oh, OK. Uh, find Mr Barker. Check the toilets, uh, storerooms and assembly hall. We're going to find him. There once was a man called Dave. Burgers and fries, my boys were his fave. Got too fat, died of a heart attack. Couldn't fit in his grave. <laughs> it's not very cheery, is it? That's what the teacher said, but hey, you gotta keep it real. Oh, hi, Mum, hi, Dad. What do you think you're playing at? Sorry? Peter, just... Sorry, come here. Oh, I just picked him up from school. No, what you did, you nearly gave us a heart attack. We thought you'd been pinched. You, you're kidding, right? No, do I look like I'm flaming kidding? Nick, you should have told Tina. I just didn't think. No, you didn't think. This is getting out of control, Leon. But he wasn't in any danger. No, but how did we know that? He only walked on now. But that's not the point. Uh, your mum and dad arrived. I should have let someone know. I made a mistake, a big mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. Show's over, girls. Come on, let's go. You're gonna be all right? I'm gonna have to be. Oh, thank goodness. Simon's gone missing. He's found him. You found him? He was with me. Better call the police, pal. You called the police? This is unreal. Well, we didn't know what had happened. Oh, screwed up, that's what happened. It's all right. No harm done. No harm done? How could he say that? Five minutes ago, you thought he was abducted. You had the police looking for him. They're fine about it. Yeah, well, Peter wasn't. Well, he was scared. We both were, Nick. Oh. I thought I was helping. Yeah, I know you did. It's all right. I've done it a hundred times. Isn't it? Picking up your kid from school, it, it should be the most normal thing. Normal doesn't apply to me anymore. This is getting out of hand. Tell me something I don't know, Gail. What, so they thought he'd been kidnapped? Yeah, I know. How funny is that? Yeah, well, I'm sure it wasn't very funny for Leanne and Peter. Oh, no. They freaked. Peter had a right go at Nick. Poor bloke. It's tragic what's happened to him. Simon, I felt sorry for. You didn't have a clue what was going on. Well, you know, I'm not surprised. It's very hard for the lad. Yeah, must be. Yeah. Right, we'll go and sit down. I'll bring your milkshakes over. Thanks, Mrs Windass. Uh, Faye, come in. So you two OK now? I never said we weren't. I know, but this morning... Don't forget it. She just wanted to know if we're right at sprinkles. Whatever. So, you feel sorry for Simon? What? I heard you say it. I meant... The boy's a loser. Who feels sorry for losers? I just What? Said... Do you fancy him? Why are you being so horrible? Horrible? <laughs> for your information, I was looking out for you because I care. But you know what? Forget it. <sighs> Grace. I think I'll skip the milkshake. I'll see you around. <sighs> Don't go. Where's Grace gone? Um. She had to go home. Oh, what's wrong, darling? Leave me alone. Faye, will you tell me what's going on? I said leave me alone. It felt like I got kicked in the stomach. I thought you handled the situation very well. Thanks, Brain. I spoke to Peter and Simon still doesn't know what all the fuss was about. Well, sometimes ignorance is definitely bliss. Mm, you're not kidding. 
parent's worst nightmare. It had a happy ending. That's the most important thing. Doesn't it put you off? No. Just a little? No, not even a little. Parenthood's all about taking the rough with the smooth. Oh, couldn't have put it better myself. Bottom line, there's a child out there that needs me and Brian and nothing's going to deter us. I must say, you seem a lot more positive than this morning. <sighs> well, I've had time to think, get things into perspective. What about you, Brian? You feeling more optimistic? I only ask because you look a little tense. <laughs> You're a bit on edge, love. Well, now you mention it, um... <clears throat> I'm afraid I do have bad news. What sort of bad news? I was hoping to have discussed this with you in private. However, um, I spoke to Trudy this afternoon and um, she informed me that um, social services won't be pursuing our application to foster. Are you saying they're rejecting us? She didn't couch it in those exact terms, but in a nutshell, yes. How can this happen? Well, does she give a reason? Oh, they must have given a reason. There were a number of issues. What, such as? If it's all the same, I'd rather not perform a post-mortem here and now. Well, what exactly did she say? She said we were unsuitable. Unsuitable? In what way? I thought Trudy liked us. Look, I I'm as confused as you are. I want to talk to her. That'll only upset you further. No, we have to challenge this. No, and what would that achieve? The decision's been made. They don't want us. Flaming idiots. I'm sorry, Julie. For what? It's not your fault. <laughs> Look, why don't I go and get us something nice to eat? I'll, I'll, I'll pick up some of that tiramisu. I, I it's your favourite. Smash it. Mm. Shout me if you need anything, kid. Hey, come in. How's I? Si? Oh, he's fine. He's, he's playing on his DS. Do you, can I get a broom? No, no, I can't. I, I'm not stopping long. Look, um, uh, I'm sorry for flying off the handle early. I, I massively overreacted. Well, I think we both probably did. It's usually me giving everybody kittens, eh? Listen, what's done, he's done. Uh, how's Nick doing? Not good. Look, I, I didn't mean to make the situation worse. Oh, the situation is what it is. All I know is we can't let things go on the way they are. I can't understand it. Well, what's to understand? This Trudy's obviously a waste of space. No. You didn't meet her. She's a lovely person. Why are you defending her? Because it's the truth. Whatever went wrong, I am not blaming her. Oh, God. Come on, wind your neck in, yeah? You're not helping. I'm surprised, though. That she didn't give a reason. Oh, what does it matter? Of course it matters. Oh, you're either suitable or you're not. And I'm clearly not. What's with this eye and my business? Brian was sat in the chair next to you. Well, he looks after children every day. I am the unknown quantity in this. Why do you keep putting yourself down? All I know is that whatever dreams me and Brian had for the future are gone. Don't ever take this woman for granted. Good mothers are hard to find. Julie, it's their loss. Really? Funny. Feels like mine. You see how some parents raise their kids? How could they possibly not give them two a chance? What are you up to? Between 20 to 50 percent of marriages end in divorce where the other partner is affected by brain injury. Oh, you shouldn't be reading stuff like that. 20 to 50 percent, Leah. Nick, it's just numbers. No, it's not. Look. No, I don't want to have a look. It's there in black and white. Look. 40 percent of marriages end in divorce anyway. Those statistics mean nothing. What if we're in the 50 percent bracket? Nick, I am not going to allow our marriage to fail, OK? But I do think that we need to make some changes. Changes? What changes? Oh, forget it. It's probably not the best uh, moment. What have you and Peter been talking about? Simon. And? I suggested that Simon stay with Peter and Carla a little bit longer. Because of me? Because of your condition. And this is only a temporary thing, OK? But I think when you're on your own with Simon, that there should be somebody else present.
Did you suggest that as well? Yeah, I did. But only because I don't want you to worry. I mean, you've got enough on your plate without second-guessing every decision you make. Look, Nick, please. Please don't be angry, OK? Because this isn't a slight against you. Peter knows how much you love Simon, and, and I do too. <laughs> angry? How could I be angry? Look what you're giving out for me. And like I say, it won't be forever. And like us. Sorry. Just want to look after you, Nick. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> that's the problem. What do you mean? All I wanted was for you to be my wife. And when you said I do, oh, <laughs> it was the answer to my dreams. I'm still that woman, aren't I? No. No. You stopped being that woman when you sacrificed your son for me. I don't have a wife, Leanne. I have a carer. And an official Coronation Street book, The Rovers Return by Tim Randall, is available now from all good retailers. From ghosts to aliens, move over Mulder and Scully, we've got Ben and Julia. Mystery map next. And then we might have had a night off last night, but there's tons to catch up on and I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here at nine. (laughs) 